Hello, and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at the operation of an aircraft's thrust reverser. First, let's understand what is a thrust reverser. An aircraft engine is used to produce thrust. The engine creates thrust force by taking in air, accelerating it to high speed, and pushing it out the exhaust. This creates a force in the opposite direction, which is called the thrust force. The thrust force is required for the forward movement of the aircraft. However, during landing, or in case of a reject takeoff, to ensure the aircraft stops safely on the runway, the thrust reversers are used. When the thrust reversers are deployed, the air is deflected forward instead of backward. So the thrust acts in the reverse direction, or in other words, increases the drag on the aircraft. The Cold Stream Reverser System There are different types of thrust reverser systems and can be classified as the Hot Stream and the Cold Stream Thrust Reversers. In most modern commercial aircraft with turbofan engines, the Cold Stream type of thrust reverser is used. There are two types of cold stream thrust reversers, pivoting doors reverser and the cascade reverser. Let's look at the operation of these cold stream reverser systems. Operation of cold stream thrust reversers, pivoting doors reverser. In this type of reverser, there are hinged doors installed on the engine nacelle. During normal engine operation, the doors are flush with the nacelle surface, so they do not obstruct the airflow. When thrust reversers are required, a hydraulic actuator opens the doors. When the doors open, a section of the door deflects inside the nacelle, and the other section opens outward. The door blocks the air, flowing through the bypass duct of the engine, and deflects it forward. This causes the thrust to be reversed. Cascade Reverser In this type of reverser, there is a translating cowl, blocker door, and cascade vanes. During normal operation, the cascade vanes and the blocker door are flush with the nacelle surface. This allows the air to flow smoothly through the bypass section. The blocker door is connected to a link arm. The other end of the link arm is connected to a stationary section of the engine. When the reversers are required, a hydraulic actuator pushes the translating cowl towards the aft of the engine. When this happens, the link arm pulls down the blocker door and the cascade vanes are exposed. The blocker door blocks the bypass air and the air is deflected forward via the cascade vanes. This causes the thrust to be reversed. Reverser Operation Normally, the reversers are used on ground to reduce the speed of the aircraft along with the wheel brakes. The reverse thrust can be increased by increasing the thrust on the engine. When the thrust is increased, more air enters the bypass section, so more air is deflected forward, which increases the drag. The cold stream reversers are installed on turbofan engines because they only deflect the bypass air. That's all for my video on the engine cold stream thrust reversers. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share, subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.